Hi Capricorn, welcome to New Era. My name is Emma. Uh, Capricorn is, geez, is Stenbocken, sorry, uh, in Swedish. I'm Swedish, so I will use a few Swedish words here and there to clarify some English words. Um, yes, we have just moved into Virgo season. There's like a lingering from the Leo season, but we are now in Virgo offici officially. Um, and today, when I'm recording this, there is a very special moon. And I, I am sort of not, like, I'm not heavy into all the labeling, all the, like, I'm like this because the planets are like that, or it's full moon or new moon, or however that applies in your life. Um, but I will say that there's so many people that has is expected good things to happen around this moon and that I believe in like when there's a lot of people coming in with their energy into something and a lot of positive energy around something I say go for it tune into that use that um, just uh, yeah and around this moon uh, I feel like there's a lot of good energy so and it's not just today on this very like Friday uh, good energy. I feel like that's like the kickoff party for the rest of the of, of September, because um, just the upcoming month of September just feels just feels gorgeous, really. It, it, it truly does. Um, so, but let's see what's like specifically what's going on for you, Capricorn, with this energy and Capricorn. You have you have become my paradise. I call you my paradise people, because um, I feel like. For some reason, your frequency is, seems to be the closest to live in the vicinity, in Aretanov, uh, in the vicinity of what you truly want. Like, if you were to express what your paradise life would look like, I feel like you are either living it or are about to live it or have just, like, opened up doors to, to really... Be living it and if you're if you're one of the capricorns sitting out there saying what 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 is she talking about like <laughs> then as we do with the full moon um um and i don't think it's a full moon now is it is it new moon i don't know around this moon anyway uh, that when there's a lot of positive energy going into it, then for a fact, I would say use Capricorn energy, use the Capricorn freak frequency. Like if you sit and meditate and you sort of tap into, and if you already are like one of the people feeling like, oh, no, I am that paradise person. I know it. And even though it hasn't manifested yet, like on the outside, like in your physical, on the physical plane, um, then for a fact, know that it's going to happen because you feel like it on an en energy level. You too, obviously, can just sit and just meditate and sort of tap into the... And if you don't know how to do that, you just close your eyes and you just breathe and just set the intention that you want to connect to the Capricorn. You can just label it the Capricorn. This, this probably will be my um, uh, rubric um, headline for this week's uh, <laughs> video. The Capricorn Paradise Frequency. Because there is such a thing. Um, and just tune into that and see what happens to your body. See what starts to happen in your life. And not just one time for five minutes. And then this is new work. Excuse me. Maybe all of you say, yes, I'll do that for 15 minutes every day for 30 days. And then I'll, I'll be the judge of whether this worked or not. Okay? Just try it out. And I'm not forcing anybody to do anything. I'm just suggesting things. Okay? Okay. Capricorn... Okay. Wow. <sighs> Beautiful cards. Wait. Wrong way. And why it's so important, you don't see what I'm doing here, but I'm switching the cards around. I, I pull three cards. I, I, I shuffle the deck and I pull three cards that I feel, sort of that stands out to me that I feel I should just draw. 
And then um, the first card out is the basic energy for the week, for the upcoming week and around this energy in time, time space. Um, I feel like the first card represents the bottom line, the basic energy for the week. And the bottom line basic energy for the week is money. Uh, the second card out is dreams, believe in your dreams. And the third card out is gratitude, be grateful for all you have. Beautiful. And so that... Um, that leads me, because it is giving me a story straight away, uh, and it leads me to, if it is about relationships for some of you guys, um, then then use that, then use that as a, like when I'm talking about, what I'm about to talk about, just uh, translate that into being a relationship. Because I feel like the general reading today for the Capricorn is not about relationships, but rather about money and around your situation like like your like your overall life like how you move forward in your your everyday life and how you um it is i should say like it is more work wise like work related but it's, it's not really either it can be for a job but i feel like it's more of a this is the overall feeling that you want to feel every day when you wake up sort of thing and not like you can you can use it in yeah it's for my it's for work it's for my body it's for finances it's for relationships blah 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 but i feel like this is for something like for something that you want to do there's so many things happening and i feel like you're shifting a whole lot there's a dog barking so maybe uh if there's um for somebody there's an interest in a dog right now uh dogs also stands for friends i feel uh, usually when the dog uh comes it, it's a reminder to just uh, connect with your friends take care of your friends be a good friend yourself and be sure to have good friends around you um and it's barking so it just got quiet so maybe we got the message and it didn't have to bark anymore but it's it was barking so it sort of wants your attention maybe some of your friends want your attention or maybe you want some attention from some of your friends uh okay so the money card coming out i feel like this is you really want, wanting to be able to stand on your two feet and that you sort of okay so some of the capricorns that i'm connecting with i feel like there's two there's two camps here one group is more like you already don't feel like you're stuck in a 9 to 5 job maybe you have like a different situation maybe you have like a home business maybe you have retired maybe um whatever that is that you're that you're sort of not living that that nine to five and whoever works nine to five these days i have no idea um it's more six to six or six to anyway um yeah i guess just got thinking about that movie with dolly parton um they're about to do a remake interesting and and it's about to be called uh five to nine <laughs> i think that's funny uh, anyway um okay interesting news for you peeps so i feel like there is one one camp one little lager uh that already sort of is not trapped in that nine to five and i don't want to say trapped because it sounds so bad because some of you guys actually probably love your job and you love to go into work and see your your co-workers and you know have that have that in your life probably is like really really nice for you but there is a lot of people um sort of feeling tired when that alarm goes off in the morning and sort of don't want to go to work they do want to do something different in if like they would say yeah no no no, i, I enjoy my job and i you know and the second you say well if you won 100 million dollars today would you still work there and they would say heck no um so that's what i'm talking about would you still do it with all the money in the world would you still do it if you didn't have to work 
And I don't mean that you should not do anything. I just mean that you should do what you enjoy to do. So there, uh, one group, one Capricorn group, I feel like you who are not in nine to five, there's something about wanting to stand on your own two feet. There's something around, um, if you had enough money, if you had enough support, if you had enough talent, if you had enough time, if you had enough, if you had enough, if you had enough, uh, to do that thing that you want to do. And I want to specifically, for some of you guys, specifically go into saying that you are, you are just beyond talented when it comes to art, drawing, painting, maybe sculpture, some of you guys are sculpturing stuff, uh, but I'm mainly drawn into like I see paintings, um, can canvases. Do you say that canvas? Uh, yeah, and that you that you tr that you would have a career as an artist if you even dared to to go into that. I don't want to say energy, go into that platform, go into that. Uh, anyway, there are some of you out there, Capricorn, that are just beyond ridiculously talented when it comes to art and painting. Um, maybe there's something about I wanting, I'm, I'm, I'm wanting to start my own business. I want to do this more spiritual work at home. I want to start... Um, this hobby on the side and see how it goes but there's not enough time stuff like stuff like that and 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 i'm telling you you're opening up as we speak to more money more abundance more and abundance abundance is not just money abundance is just feeling feeling abundant feeling like there's enough because i i get that there's not en there's not enough this there's not enough that there's not enough blah 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 and if you walk around feeling the not enoughness, uh, it's going to leak into other areas and, and you soon enough don't feel enough, you don't feel enough. So the practice here is to feel enough, like you have enough and to just be uh, happy with, with what you already have. This is so tiny compared to the rest of the energy that I feel around you and that I feel around the Capricorn frequency. There, it's so puny, it's so tiny what we're talking about. So I don't want you to get the idea that this is such a major thing. And now you have to work on yourself for five years until you have this, until you have this vibration like in order, if you know what I mean. You still, you still are thriving. You still eat what you want every day, like that sort of thing. You still pay rent. Uh, it, it, it's all good. But I feel like if you truly started to practice Practice the Capricorn frequency, which is meditating more on it, and start to feel like you are enough. You have enough and you are enough. Focus on the areas where you are enough and focus on the areas where you have enough. And soon enough, the rest will follow, if that makes sense. For the other group, I feel like there is a nine to five uh, feeling here. You're, you're going to work, you're doing, your, you're doing what you're supposed to do, and you want more you somehow, some way want more money so that you can get out of that system, I feel. If there's, if there's a wish about it, if there's a vision you have, if there's something that, you know, it will help you um, in your life, uh, it, it is coming. If it's a wish, just stick to the wish. And even though you have no idea how that's going to work out, you sort of can quit your job and start to do something else. And you don't even have to know exactly what you want to do next. You just know that there's other things out there. And sort of, it almost feels like I don't have time to be here at work. I have so many other things to do. I have friends to see. I have a partner to, that I want to be with. I have kids that I want to, you know. If you just have that feeling like if I don't, if I just had, if I just had, so much money, it didn't bother me to not be here at work. I could just do whatever, you, whatever I wanted. Know that that time is coming. It's not a utopia. It's not a wish, wish, flum, flum sort of thing. It is a 
if if there is a serious wish from within you, uh, it is possible for you to achieve. Okay, right there is a beautiful reading. Like that's probably all you needed if if you want to. That's for my first card. I have two more cards, and if you want to follow me in the, to this story, uh, click on the link down in the description box. It takes you uh, to Vimeo, and we'll do the extended version. If this was perfect for you, thank you so much for watching. Happy, awesome, full moon, new moon, awesome moon. Uh, go meditate on the on the Capricorn frequency and see what happens. Okay, guys, please subscribe if you haven't. Please share it with your friends if you want to. Take care. Bye.